Hello guys and welcome to my second FL Studio tutorial. I know it's like the next day and this is not going to happen often that I like splurge and do stuff like this every single day. It just so happens that I have a good break and I'm trying to get views. Just going to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and open our project from yesterday and just continue on that. So we'll just listen to what we have. So it's just a really, really simple thing. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to the browser and I'll go to packs. Um, I'll go to drums and in my hats, the hi-hat I use the most is the um, 808 closed hat. That's what CH stands for and OH is open hat, so it's going to be your longer sound. Um, I usually, I will usually use this one. I'm bad about using it too much, so I try to branch out. Um, with the hi-hats, you don't want a whole lot of reverb because, I mean, it depends on the sound. See, that's just once you, if you have it really fast, it just gets a little muddy. And with this particular hi-hat, the 808, you want it to be really sharp. And so, see, that's a little bit much. Turn it down. Take away your high cut. That sounds good. Now I'm going to show y'all um, something that's called a hi-hat roll and it's really easy, really, really easy to do, like believe me guys. Okay, so on here I usually do something like basic, so I'm just going to do it every four steps and I'm not going to copy paste it until I'm ready. But I um, will put it right in here. So I want something to sound. It was, it was a, but it's going to be twice as fast. So what I'm going to do instead of just putting them all through here, I know it's going to span from here to here. So I'm just going to drag it and then I will adjust my snap to grid to a half step. And then what you do is pr press um, control U and that just um, slices it at each beat and makes it. Oh, wait, I need one more. Oops. <laughs> Okay, now that I've copy pasted it over, I'm going to um, add another hi-hat roll, but I will put it actually to the quarter step and then control U, take away. <laughs> There we go. That's just a cool sound. And then I'll copy paste it over to make it span all four bars. Good, good. Okay, now um, at this point, a lot of times I've started doing this. Um, whenever you have a hi hat roll, quietly in the background have the O hat or the open hat playing. Um, and it gives it a really nice sound. Um, but you don't want it really loud because it'll be really overpowering. In this case, it's good to have a lot of uh, reverb sound, just you don't want it too overpowering. See, it's really quiet. You almost wouldn't know it was there. All right, I'm gonna mute these. If you hear that, you can hear how the um, open hat is still going after the roll is done, and so it sounds a little messy. So what you can do is you can just click on O-hat, 
the channel that or the sample that you want to adjust and then you just go over to here where it has the envelope and instrument settings and this is the preset that it it comes like this but it doesn't make a difference until you move something um, you want to make the hold decay and sustain um, about a little over halfway but take the release completely away and what that does is as long as you hold the note it's gonna play but if you don't, it'll immediately stop. And then you just drag it over the duration. Actually, I'll do it a little bit less of um, the sample. Oops. And it's, uh, okay. I'm honestly not a huge fan of that sound, so I'm actually gonna... There we go, that's better. So you can hear how it like, spans the entire duration. Okay, so we're gonna make this thing called an automation clip, and what that is, is while your song is playing, um, it's gonna adjust the levels for you you don't have to you can have it set a certain way when it begins but if you think about it like okay that might not sound perfect the whole way through like how do I do that well that's what an automation clip is so what you do is like you can do it for almost anything that has a level I'm pretty sure you can do it for anything all you do okay right here is the panning uh, right below the volume and um, you're just gonna right click and go down to where it says create automation clip and boom if you look in your playlist it'll be right here it, it goes into the first open spot where you can drag it down where you need to and it is automatically going to span the whole length of the track no matter how long it is which gets a little annoying at times but I mean what are they supposed to do know exactly what you're trying to do like okay now just right click and um, you can either go down or up at the beginning I don't think it matters and um, if you see on the top left where it says 0.23 and then it has on the part where we are in the track and then on the far side it has percentage okay so you're gonna um, keep in mind the percentage you do at the beginning I'm gonna put it at 74 and now if you do it in your head you can make the number that makes it go to 100 so it would be like um, 26 and if you go on the opposite side and go down to where it's got 26 and I had already had it like this um right click on the end it's probably going to be on like single curve like that that's usually how it is but if you right click and go all the way down to the bottom where it says wave for this particular thing we want it to go like back and forth between speakers smoothly for something like a, a build up you'd probably want it to be on a single curve just going all up but for this particular case, a wave will do amazing. And then in the middle, um, you can just s go up or down to adjust the tension. So we want it to be pretty slow going back and forth. And then you just have to make sure that if you want to take it away, it's got to end in the middle or else everything after the song is going to be at this tension. So yeah. So yeah, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. It would be amazing if you would like my video and subscribe, comment, um, tell me what you want to see in a future video and I'll try to include it. Um, I know I've got like six subscribers right now I'm trying to work on that. So I'm not even going to be like, oh, see if we can get two likes on this video because that's just a little bit extra. But um, it would be amazing if you would like it, so.